Hey everyone, I'm going to show you the difference between Windows Movie Maker and CyberLink PowerDirector 14. Uh, PowerDirector on the left, Windows Movie Maker on the right. What I'm going to do is upload a five minute clip into each program simultaneously and um, I'm going to show you how much faster it is on the left side compared to Windows Movie Maker on the right side. Um, this video is 60 frames a second at 1080p, um, just so you know. Um, so what you're going to see is Windows Movie Maker has to upload the clip into the program before you can actually use it and start editing it. Whereas PowerDirector, um, you can upload the clip instantly. Uh, the moment you put into the program, it's ready to edit, ready to cut up, and ready to add some music to it and do whatever you want. Um, so you just saw me drag and drop, it's ready to use, I can cut it and do everything I want. Whereas on the right side of your screen, you can see Windows Movie Maker is still uploading um, that same exact clip. I'm going to show you a screenshot of uh, where my computer is at right now as far as processor speed and memory speed. You can see my computer is handling it fine. Um, there's no issue there. It's not with my hardware. It's just uh, Windows Movie Maker program is not designed to um, upload large clips like this. Uh, I've seen, you know, this is a five minute clip. Uh, imagine uploading four or five hours of video footage from your ride that day. Um, it can take six, eight hours. And, you know, I've had it run overnight before it's even done, uh, before you can start editing it, uh, which is a real hassle. Um, you know, on the left side, this this is obviously sped up, but you know, I'm already editing. I'm already cutting up the clips on the left side. Um, you know, having fun, adding some music here and there. Um, but on the right side, we're still just sitting there waiting, and not doing anything. Um, you know, PowerDirector, it costs sixty dollars or eighty dollars, depending on if, if you get it on sale or not, uh, which is definitely worth it in my brain. Um, there's no point in having four hundred dollars, five hundred dollars worth of GoPro equipment, and then a cheap editing software. There's just it just doesn't make sense. So you know, if you want to make some good movies, have some fun, um, and save you hours of time, then just uh, you know, drop sixty bucks and get this program and have some fun. All right.